My name is Cassidy. I live in California, and I have always been a great lover of the sea. Every summer, my family and I spend our holidays in a small coastal town, a place where I have built many of my most cherished memories. It was a typical summer morning. I woke up early, full of energy, and eager to enjoy every moment of the day. Our parents were still getting ready. My mother was always meticulous with sunscreen, making sure everyone was well protected. Don't dive too far out, Cassidy, she reminded me with a note of concern in her voice. I couldn't help but smile. Don't worry, I'll be careful, I replied, giving her an affectionate hug. It was a routine we repeated every year, but her love and concern were always sincere. I thought of diving from the highest cliff today, I said to my brother Jake as we walked. He nodded and we headed towards the cliff. I prepared for the dive, climbing to one of the highest points on the coast. I felt my heart pounding in my chest, but it was a sensation I loved. The dive into the water was liberating. I felt the air rushing around me, the warm sun on my skin, and a sense of pure euphoria, but the moment of joy lasted only an instant. As soon as I touched the water, I felt a devastating impact as my body hit a rock hidden beneath the surface. The pain was sharp, unbearable, and my whole body stiffened. The water enveloped me as my consciousness began to fade. The world around me grew darker, and the last thought I had was one of pure terror. Is this really the end? I thought as the darkness swallowed me. When I awoke, I found myself in a completely different place. I was floating in an infinite space, wrapped in a golden and warm light that seemed to emanate love and peace. There was no more pain, only a feeling of lightness and serenity. Looking around, I saw luminous forms and ethereal figures moving gently, emanating a sense of well-being and welcome. I felt a deep calm, something I had never experienced before. It was as if every worry, every negative thought had been washed away. I wondered if I had died, but the feeling was so beautiful that I did not feel fear. On the contrary, I felt curious and eager to explore this new world. The landscape around me was extraordinary. Infinite skies of perfect blue, green meadows that seemed to stretch endlessly, and brightly colored flowers I had never seen on earth. There was a subtle music in the air, like a celestial song that filled my soul with joy. As I tried to orient myself, a radiant figure approached me. It seemed made of pure light and exuded an energy of infinite compassion. It did not speak with words, but communicated directly in my mind with a voice that was both sweet and powerful. Welcome, Cassidy, said the entity. Its voice was like a melody, calming and reassuring. Do not be afraid. You are in a safe place. Who are you? I asked mentally, surprised to be able to communicate without words. I am a messenger, replied the entity. I am here to guide you and answer your questions. The entity had a reassuring presence, and I immediately felt a sense of trust and peace. It was as if I had been enveloped in a warm and comforting embrace. My fears and doubts dissolved, and I felt ready to learn more about this place. With my heart filled with emotion and curiosity, I thought long about the question to ask. My mind filled with a thousand questions, but one stood out above the others. With an inner whisper, I asked, how can I know when God is near us? The luminous entity smiled, and its light became even more intense. It explained that God is always near us, but there are particular moments when His presence becomes palpable. Those moments are when we feel pure and sincere love, when we are at peace with ourselves and the world, and when we help others without expecting anything in return. It told me that God manifests through the people we meet, 
through acts of kindness and through deep connections with nature and the universe. But how can I recognize them? I asked, eager to know more. Your heart will know, the entity replied. When you feel a special warmth, a sense of completeness and love, you will know that God is near you. The answer struck me deeply. I felt a connection with everything around me, a sense of unity and unconditional love. The entity's words resonated within me as a universal truth, something I had always known but had forgotten. Shortly after receiving this revelation, I felt a strong and irresistible call. The light around me began to dissolve and I felt myself being pulled back towards my body. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach, surrounded by my concerned family. I had returned, but with a new awareness and a deep sense of peace. Jake held me tight, his face a mask of worry. Cassidy, you're awake. Are you okay? His voice was filled with emotion and relief. I felt overwhelmed by the love and concern of my loved ones. I'm okay, I replied with a hoarse voice, trying to reassure everyone, but I knew that something inside me had changed forever. From that day on, I began to live my life with a renewed sense of gratitude and attention to moments of love and connection. I understood that God is always near us. We just need to learn to recognize the signs of his presence. The experience had transformed me. Nent, every day I made an effort to be more present, to appreciate the little things, and to cultivate love and kindness. When someone smiled at me, when I helped a stranger, when I felt the beauty of nature around me, I knew that God was there beside me. My family noticed the change. You are different, Cassidy, more serene, my mother said one day, looking at me with affection. So, it's as if you have found inner peace. It's true, I replied, smiling. I have understood that life is full of moments when God speaks to us. We just need to learn to hear them. Over time, I began to share my experience with others. People were fascinated and often moved by my words. Is it really possible to feel God so close? A friend once asked me. Yes, it is possible, I replied. When we open our hearts and live with love and kindness, we can feel his presence in every moment. That awareness guided me in every choice, in every action. And I know that wherever I go, I am never alone. God is always with me, in every smile, in every hug, in every act of love and compassion. After listening to Cassidy's extraordinary story, I had the opportunity to ask her some very interesting questions. With great kindness and openness, Cassidy answered my questions, offering further details and reflections on her experience. Here are some of the questions and answers that I believe can offer greater clarity and inspiration to anyone who reads them. Question one, how exactly did you feel when you realized you were dying? At first I felt pure terror. It was intense pain and a feeling of total helplessness. But immediately after all the pain disappeared and I felt enveloped by an indescribable peace and serenity. It was as if all the weight of the world had been lifted. Question two, what was the place like where you found yourself after the accident? It was extraordinarily beautiful, a place of golden light and infinite peace. The landscape was serene, with green meadows and vibrant flowers I had never seen on earth. I heard celestial music in the air, and everything seemed to emanate love and well-being. Question 3. What did the luminous entity you encountered say to you? The entity welcomed me with infinite love and compassion. It explained that God is always near us, but his presence becomes particularly palpable in moments of pure love, inner peace, and when we help others without expecting anything in return. 
It told me that our hearts know how to recognize these moments. Question four, how did you feel when you returned to your body? It was like being sucked back by a powerful energy. Opening my eyes on the beach was disorienting, but I felt a new awareness and peace within me. I was surrounded by my family's love, which helped me feel safe and grateful to be back. Question five, how has this experience changed your life? It has changed me profoundly. I live every day with a renewed sense of gratitude and attention to moments of love and connection. I try to be present, to appreciate the little things, and to cultivate kindness and compassion. I know that God is always near me, and this gives me a strength and serenity I had never known before. I truly thank Cassidy for her availability. If you also want to ask her a question, leave it here in the comments and she should respond directly. Otherwise, let me know what you think of this experience. Sia, see you in the next video. Greetings from your Charlotte.